And Derek, nothing like that here, but this is the second system we've had this week, and you're looking at a little snow possibly for next week. Yeah, we're keeping a close eye on those possibilities, yeah. Rick. It looks like it's only going to be a very small chance at this point, but something we're going to continue monitoring as we get more data in here over the next few days. But one thing's for sure, it's going to get a lot colder next week. So let's go right to that forecast and show you what's going on right now with that storm system. It's a big one, and as Rick was just tell, showing you that video from out in Iowa, they had blizzard conditions out there earlier today. The snow appears to be wrapping up, but the winds are blowing out there as they are here, and the visibilities have dropped, and they're expecting blowing snow here for tonight out that way. We're not dealing with that here. Just rain is the big factor. And it looks like with this system, as I mentioned, we're, we're, it's not going to be impactful like the Tuesday night storm. So we're not looking at anything like that. And this thing is actually almost out of here. Only a couple more hours and then the rain's going to be gone. And we're just going to be dealing with winds here overnight tonight. But still some pretty decent downpours over on the eastern shore, up through Cecil and parts of Hartford County, central northern Baltimore County, back towards Carroll and Frederick Counties, Howard County seeing some rain now, Bel Air right now seeing some of the moderate rain as well as down towards Abingdon and then getting down into uh, portions of uh, the Virginia Tidewaters where we're seeing some of the heaviest rain there. That should track through parts of the lower eastern shore. But notice the back edge of the rain beginning to pull away here. So we expect this to start winding down here shortly and then looks like for the rest of tonight just mainly dry, but it will be windy here even into the afternoon tomorrow. Temps into the 40s and 50s. Earlier today we were in the mid 40s, but the temperatures have been creeping up throughout the evening, and that has allowed some of these winds to really start cranking up. We've been seeing some of the highest wind gusts across parts of Anne Arundel County. You see Annapolis right now picking up wind gusts around 33 miles an hour. Looks like 41 down towards Oxford. So down towards the lower eastern shore, we've seen some of those stronger gusts. Also up towards Elkton, seeing wind gusts around 30 miles per hour. So it looks like for tonight, winds will be strongest western shore of the bay and over on the eastern shore tomorrow area wide as the winds really start to pick up here by late morning into the afternoon as the storm pulls away winds are going to start turning more out of the west and we get that west wind we get a little bit of sunshine and that's when really is going to start mixing up the atmosphere pulling the stronger winds from aloft down to the ground and that's where we're going to get those occasional bursts of stronger winds here at about 40 to 45 miles an hour through the afternoon so the wind through midnight rain continues it'll become spotty They'll still be windy overnight tonight and continued windy here through the morning hours tomorrow. Temps are going to hold into the 50s even into tomorrow morning. We will get cooler tomorrow afternoon, but the winds are going to continue howling here throughout the day. That's why we have this wind advisory effect through Saturday. This pretty much for the entire state. Sustained winds 20 to 30, particularly during the late morning and afternoon with gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour. That could create some isolated power outages and it certainly will blow loose objects around that you may have outside if you don't have them secured. So here's your forecast. Wind gusts here through tonight. Notice we see a bit of a lull uh, early tomorrow morning, and then we're going to start to see the winds crank right back up late morning into the afternoon. 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts here throughout the latter part of the day. Again, the flood watch pretty much has been dropped, and it looks like uh, that chance for rain is going to continue winding down here for tonight. So we're not expecting uh, any significant flooding here across the area. Maybe some ponding on the roadways, but that's about it. The coastal flood threat, though, will continue across the area, and it looks like a high tide in Annapolis here for tomorrow morning. Morning is uh, running right about 545. So here's what we're expecting one up to one foot of inundation. Last couple of nights, or at least a couple of nights ago, when we had that storm, we were looking at two to three feet. This time, only up to about a foot with high tide at 545. For, uh, Fort McHenry, 754 a.m. high tide. Eastern Shore, Tolchester Beach, 757. Claiborne over in Talbot County, 508 a.m. And then we're looking at minor flooding up towards Haver de Grace with the coastal flood advisory there. Half a foot of inundation potentially up to, and then looking at high tide at 1109 a.m. Then we turn our attention to next week. Week. Colder air is going to be coming. So, tomorrow is going to be the warmest day of the next seven days as a significant Arctic outbreak affects much of the country. And we're going to get a taste of that into the middle of next week. The coldest temperatures look like they're going to be on Wednesday. That's where we're going to see wind chills potentially down near zero in some spots by Wednesday morning. So, we go from 51 tomorrow to 46 on Sunday. Then we drop off a cliff with the Arctic cold front on Monday. And then we stay in the 30s and 20s for highs all the way through next weekend. Then we're going to to turn our attention to the potential, the potential for a couple of snowflakes here next Tuesday. Now, right now, I'm not terribly excited about this system. There's still very strong model disagreement. Notice that we have huge differences between the Euro and the GFS on the development of this system. So that means that there's uncertainty in the track, the development, and the strength of the system. So at this point, 
We're just kind of like throwing darts at a dartboard, if you want to call it that. There's still a lot of uncertainty. We'll continue to track the system, though, and give you updates if we do see a chance for snow going up next Tuesday. So forecast for tomorrow around 51. Again, chances for rain tapering off here in the next couple of uh, hours here. And then windy for tomorrow, sunshine Sunday, and then we'll be watching that cold air and that chance for snow in the next week. Rick, back to you.